What is up guys, DJ back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. You know what we're going to talk about today. We're going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super. Is it special and is it unique to other TCGs? Now, I actually had a bit of a... I wouldn't call it a debate, but somebody commented on one of my videos saying Dragon Ball Super is not unique or special uh, and that it's because it copies other TCGs. Now, I thought that was kind of... A good thing to bring up because I think we all know that TCGs, trading card games and CCGs or ACGs or whatever you want to call them, cards, right? They tend to uh, have a similar system to each other. But at the end of the day, I feel that they are all unique to each other and I'll explain why. Now, I did explain my reasoning to this this guy that you know commented, uh, which is, you know, I respect all comments and all opinions and stuff like that. But he did say something about, after I did respond, saying that he said a fact where I said an opinion. Now, I think we got to set something straight. So when you say facts, you need to back it up with statistics. And also, with facts, right, um, I guess what you said as a comment. Now, I don't want to really, you know, I'm not hating on the comment or anything like that. I just think it's good to talk about, and I think it was good discussion point, so good on him for bringing it up as well, and I think a lot of people also want to know this, so, or, you know, hear thoughts on it, because when you say the words unique and special, those, you can't associate those with facts, because automatically those words are opinions, alright, they're subjective words, so when you say this is special to me, because X, Y, X, 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 it's because those reasons, that's why that is special to me. But for you, or for somebody else, that might not be special to you. That doesn't mean that it is, you know, 100% fact that, you know, this is special for everyone, right? I am saying that this is special because I think it is special because it brings these memories or whatever like that. Or if, if it's different to other things that I've ever bought. So, um, those are my, you know, just short feelings about those kind of things. So, um... And that kind of brings me to artwork as well. I know I was going to make a discussion video on this um, where people say, you know, great artwork is great, is like good possibility for investability for those cards. Now, artwork is subjective, guys. It's, it's opinionated. There's no like, this is great artwork. That's a fact. No. <laughs> because, you know what? Great artwork to me is different to great artwork to you guys. So, um... And that's why, you know, when people say, no, nah, I said, this is a fact. Um, <laughs> with those kind of comments, you can't really say it's a fact because it's not like scientifically proven that this is a special box or a unique box, right? So uh, everyone's different. All these TCGs, in a sense, they're all different to each other, right? Now, they might copy some mechanics or, you know, certain things might be copied, but it doesn't mean it's exactly the same. And that is why I feel that when you say something is special or unique, uh, when it comes to di different TCGs, like Pokemon is unique to Dragon Ball Super, or it's different to Dragon Ball Super. When you think of the definitions for unique, it usually means that it's different to the, something else, or it's different to everything else. Like, if you look at Pokemon as a TCG versus Magic or anything else, there's things in Pokemon that Magic and other things don't do, alright? So the same with uh, Dragon Ball Super. Sure, there might be similar similarities between Dragon Ball Super and some other TCGs, but it's different. At the end of the day, you can't get a Goku card anywhere else except Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball Z, right? You can't get a certain character unless you buy Dragon Ball Super. You can't get a certain character unless it's from Pokemon or Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, right? So, characters alone differentiate all the TCGs, all the card games from each other. So, uh, in saying, you know, special and unique, all right, certain things might be the same. But I don't want to ramble on about that so much, but let's talk about artwork investability. As I said before, if you have a majority of people liking the same artwork, and when I say majority of people, as in so many people kind of agree that this artwork is awesome, right? In that sense, yeah, you might want to pick up that card because it might be so popular that the demand is so high that you want to, you know, capitalize on that and maybe grab a few of those. And if if it truly is great artwork and everybody really wants it, then uh, there's a good chance that somebody would want to buy that off you later down the line. So I can see that part as investability, but I feel like artwork is just 
as I said before, it is subjective. So it's one opinion to another. It's not factual, all right? It's not factual evidence that th this is great artwork versus this. But, 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 it is just a variable to investability. So when you, when you think of something to invest in or when you're thinking of, um, you know, should I invest in this box? Should I invest in this card or whatever like that? Artwork might play a part of it, but it's not the whole picture, right? You might have to think about how rare is this card? Uh, how old is this card? You know, how mint of is this card? You know, is it a PSA 10 worthy? Is it PSA 10? Or a sealed product? Does it have any scratches on it or, you know, something like that, right? So is the condition good? You know, is it rare enough for other collectors to want to have? And, you know, artwork is just, it's always subjective. And it, especially when you talk about just TCGs in general, yeah, you can group them all in one, really, because they all do copy from each other, right? Um, one might have started as the first thing. You know, Pokemon might have been one of the first anime successful TCGs out there. You know, there's Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, and now they have Digimon, and they have Dragon Ball Super. But at the end of the day, they are all different to each other. They might all have something different, and that makes them all unique to the other TCGs. Yes, they might have similarities, but they don't. And I know I keep rambling on, but I just don't want people to think um, that when they say, <laughs> when they watch one of these kind of videos, they think, oh, well, you know, what you're saying is not really factual. And technically it isn't. <laughs> and and what you, you know, when somebody says something else, it's not 100% facts, all right? These, <laughs> a lot of the time it's speculation, it's opinion, and uh, I just want people to know those things. And especially when it comes to a lot of the videos that I do, uh, a lot of those things are my opinion, but at the same time, I respect your opinion. And when you bring your opinion to me, you know, I'm all good with it. But when you start saying about facts and when you say, start saying, oh, well, um, I brought up facts. Well, not really, right? You brought up your own opinion, which is good. You know, I respect that. But at the same time, you know, I have a different opinion. It doesn't mean we hate each other. It doesn't mean... It just means we're different people, and that's what makes us unique to each other as well. So, uh, I, you know, <laughs> you know, I didn't make this video because of that comment, but it definitely prompted me. It, it made me think a little bit about facts and um, opinions and stuff. And what's the difference between the two? I think we all know the difference, but um, <laughs> uh, I was going to read the comment actually on here, but I didn't want to like you know bring too much attention to. Uh, whoever said it because you know I actually did like his comment and his last comment I didn't really want to respond to because I didn't want to make it um, too I don't know controversial because uh, I don't know if he if he wanted that or not but <laughs> but th that's what I'm trying to say here guys uh, if you say or if you're in your opinion Dragon Ball Super is the best TCG there's nothing that's better than it the artwork is just the best those comments all those comments are not facts all right there are your opinions, and that's great. <laughs> you know, some people will agree with you on that, you know? I might agree with you that the cards in Dragon Ball Super are just awesome artwork. Uh, it's unique to other artworks. You know, they don't do Pokemon artwork like Dragon Ball Super artwork. Some people will say that you, you've you never seen artwork like Dragon Ball Super, okay? And that could be one part of Dragon Ball Super card game that is unique to the other cards, all right? The other card games. So, you know, do I still think Dragon Ball Super is unique? Yes, I do. <laughs> do I think it's still special? Yes, I do. It's going to be special for somebody. It's special to me because I like the show and I like the cards. Uh, they mean something to me, right? So, when you, <laughs> when when I say special or when you when somebody else says special, what it, what comes to your mind is like, why is it special to me? Why is it special to somebody else? Why would someone start buying these kind of products? Is it because they like it so much, or is it because, you know, the characters, or is it just for money reasons? So, you know, uh, those, are my, those are my thoughts about, you know, dividing the TCGs, because there's quite a lot of TCGs coming out now, and, um, you know, <laughs> you got to try to juggle, especially if you're, you know, a cross collector, if you like Pokemon, you like Dragon Ball Super, you like Digimon, you like Yu-Gi-Oh!, and you're going to be buying, what, I don't know, all of them? <laughs> It can be tough, especially when you're tracing grail cards and rare cards and, you know, money's not just falling off trees and I understand that. So, I might actually make a video on 
um, you know, how I do it, really. I only collect two TCGs, that's Pokemon and Jumble Super, but those two alone are quite uh, expensive in themselves, it depends what I'm chasing, but at the end of the day, you know, it does take a big chunk of money, but, you know, maybe I'll break that down for you guys too, because I know even some people that just collect Pokemon or just collect Dragon Ball Super, they do struggle, and, you know, at the end of the day, you want to enjoy the hobbies, and <laughs> you want to make sure you're having fun with it, and sometimes money can get people down because they can't buy what they want, they don't have enough money, or they're pressured to sell something because they don't have enough, and they need to pay for something else. Now, Asim Pratt actually made a video just today or recently about, you know, managing money well and just, you know, spending within your means. I think that's very important and people kind of just, ah, like they get caught up in the hype and they get like, I want this, I want this, I want this. And it can get really difficult to, you know, just uh, focus on one thing or, you know, if you have two, multiple TCGs or three TCGs that you're going across, Maybe, you know, split it up, and I know it's super duper easy to say, because <laughs> sometimes, you know, budgets, you know, budgets are broken, or whatever like that, and it can be tough, but, you know, you, at the end of the day, you don't want to put yourself in a position where you need to sell something like this, like, you know, or like this, or whatever, you know, <laughs> you don't want to be forced to sell something because you need the money, you just want to have that there, ready, uh, as a display piece, or as part of your collection, and if you want to sell that, not because you're in a rush you need to sell. You know, you see so many people trying to sell things so quickly because they need the money. And um, it, it, it can be a little bit tricky in that sense. So, I mean, if, you, if you're spending wisely and you're looking for the deals and you're just spending according to what you can, like, you know, what you can afford. What I can afford and what you can afford is totally different. And you might be able to afford more, you might be able to buy less. It doesn't really matter. You just, you've got to go at your own pace, right? So, um, and you've got to chase what you like and what you think is special and what you think is unique and what you think is, you know, that's going to make you happy, all right? So, uh, and all those words, <laughs> they're all opinions. You know, what makes you happy and what makes me happy will be a little bit different. Maybe it's the same, maybe it's not. But there's no facts there, guys. There's no, like, you know, 100%, you know, this is a the best game ever because... You can't, you can't make that a fact unless uh, you start bringing facts, like actual number statistics, like, you know, hey, the whole population of Australia is playing Dragon Ball Super. You know, those kind of facts are just hard to find in collectibles because a lot of the things in collectibles is all subjective. It's all opinionated. Now, there'll be some facts here and there, and I know I keep bringing this up, but it really got me thinking that kind of comment, right? So, you know, some facts that you might say is, this flying Pikachu has 40 HP, alright? That's a fact. It actually has 40 HP. But for me to say, oh, well, this card is not unique to any other card, you know, I could argue that. You know, somebody could argue about the specialness of a, of a TCG, of an art, of a card, and the, the uniqueness between the TCGs. And you know how it is, there's so many out there right now, and it, it's quite competitive, and a, a lot of people... You know, I'm actually bringing quite a few pe different people onto this channel. Uh, you know, we've got Dragon Ball Super Collectors. I know you guys are just coming on board now, but I started off as Pokemon. I bought a lot of Pokemon. This is still a Pokemon channel. I still do a lot of Pokemon. And, you know, if I make a Pokemon video, it might not be for a Dragon Ball Super, you know, fan that I have. But that's okay. You know, you don't need to watch it. And same with Pokemon. If um, I've had quite a few Pokemon fans... But they, I know they don't watch the Dragon Ball Super because the Dragon Ball Super doesn't apply to them. And for them, it is not, you know, special to them. Or it's not, um, uh, I guess, they just don't like it. It's not, it's not part of their plan. And not everyone's going to like Dragon Ball Super. Not everyone's going to like Pokemon. But at the end of the day, you know, those are the two things that I collect. Those are the two things that make me happy. That's why I talk about them. That's why I do different videos on them. I might rotate between the two. Uh, at the end of the day, I... I still love them both. I think they're both very collectible. I think they're both very special to me because they bring a lot of memories and it makes me happy. And also, I think they're unique to each other. They're, they're totally different, right? <laughs> they're not the same, okay? And although they might copy some things off each other, I've actually seen some Pokemon artworks recently, some new ones, that they don't have the yellow border anymore. I think it's the full arts, right? And um, they really... It, it kind of looks like a Dragon Ball Super card where it encompasses the whole card. 
And I thought that was very unique to the uh, Dragon Ball Super. The way they did those cards, the way they did the leader cards. Um, you don't really see that in other TCGs. And that's what I meant by uniqueness. Like, you know, it's different. It's, it's not the same. If it was the same, then <laughs> they're all the same, right? And, th and that's not true, right? They're all different. And, and if they were all the same, then everybody would be buying everything, you know? There wouldn't be Pokemon fans and Dragon Ball Super fans. There would be, you know, just TCG fans. Because it's all the same. But it's not all the same. They're different. That's pretty much it, guys. I know a little bit of a ramble there. Touch on a bit of topics. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? Um, and no hate towards that comment. Just wanted to put this out there. I think it was a great comment. I think it actually inspired me to make this kind of video. Uh, and I thought, uh, I thought on, I thought on it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> the last comment, I wasn't sure if you wanted me to respond to that though or not. Uh, if you're watching this, you know who you are, maybe. Um, but yeah, no shots at you. Great comment, and um, yeah, keep them coming because it gets me thinking. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, two to three days time. Bye. <laughs>